would be change any two at a time. You could do that, like change B and A and keep theta same. So that would be like I could change the b as a function of time, and then I could change the area as a function of time. So it just would be like that, right? So imagine the angle is still 1, and I'm changing both. So now it's just an application of the product rule, right? If both of them are changing, so I can have db dt times a minus n a db dt. Okay? So let's say I change the area the same way that, that, I, that I did in that previous example with the e to the t power. And let's say I change the b with the same equation. So how would we put them together now? What was the derivative of the b? What was the b function? Uh, it was a 2t squared minus t cubed plus 6, right? And what was the radius function? e to the t minus 0.2. So I'm doing them at the same time now. So db dt would be 4t minus 3t squared. The area would be pi r squared. So it would be pi times the radius squared. Okay? Minus n. Oh, you know what? I did the same thing. Minus n and uh, b da dt, right? So then I would put n times b times da dt, which now I can do the 2 pi r, uh, 2 pi r, uh, and dr dt would be e to the t. This would be a great test question that I could ask. Then I would say, what is the B field, uh, the EMF created at t equals to one second, for example. Then after you do all this, you put one, one, e to the one, 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 e to the one, e to the one, and you come up with an answer. And if the answer is positive, then you know it's counterclockwise. If it's negative, it's counterclockwise. It's uh, clockwise, you see. So I could tell you uh, uh, any time for any particular time and you would just put the T in.